So she wants to know what happened to her Halloween one night stand from last year. Came to us to get answers. We can provide those answers today. Hey, Nicole. Hi. Hi. All right. Bring us back to Halloween last year. <laughs> yeah. So last year I went to a Halloween, you know, party and there was this guy there, Leo, and <laughs> he was dressed up as a one night stand and I thought it was hysterical. Um, so we started, you know, chatting, flirting, had way too much to drink and ended up hooking up, which ironically, this like one night stand literally became the only one night stand I've ever had in my entire <laughs> life. Um, but it was great. And, you know, it's, uh, you know, Halloween made me start to think about it. So I need some help contacting him and I, I would like to go out with him again. Like I, I want to remove, <laughs> I basically want to remove the one night stand from my record. So, <laughs> so uh, uh, if see. you have, um, if you are intimate with him again, technically he's no longer a one night stand because you did it twice, right? Is he that how it works? I think so. He could become a two night stand though. It's called girl math. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a statute of limitations on something like this. What do you mean? You have to, you, you, oh, you have to do it twice within a certain period of time? You got a year to fix it. Well, oh. this is, this would be the year then right here. Yeah. I was going to say a couple weeks. Oh, oh man. <laughs> couple weeks ain't long enough. <laughs> All right, so now are you saying that you just want to go out with him a second time? Or are you saying that you want a second round of what happened the first time in order for it to balance each other out? Um, I think both. Like, I would definitely like to see him again, but I don't have his number. Um, but I did track down his Instagram. Mm-hmm. So what's he up to these I, days? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he doesn't, put, you know, he's a guy. He doesn't post a lot, yeah. but um, I was hoping maybe you could DM him. Yeah, I can tell you this. Uh, spoiler alert. We already have. And we'll give you the results of that here in a couple of minutes. Uh, I also want you to know this, that he'll never say this, but I'm sure you said to him, oh, my God, I have never done this before. He doesn't believe that. Not a chance. <laughs> <laughs> no guy believes it. Nope. Yeah. Hmm. That's all you got for dinner. That's it. Yeah. Why didn't you damn him yourself? Um, <laughs> I I thought you guys could help me out. I didn't know what to say. You know, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't even have his number. I thought it would be cute. I don't know. So you're trying to turn this into some kind of meet cute thing. Yeah, I mean, it's like the way we met was cute. You know, his idea was cute. I just, yeah, I thought you guys could help me and like mm -hmm. honestly help me figure out what to say. I don't, I don't know. All right. So Nicole, bear with me. And this may be a hard pill to swallow. Bert and Mo, you have a one night stand. If you don't follow up, what does that say? <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you set us up like that? <laughs> um, I've given enough honesty this morning. You're up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, he's, he's not that into you. Okay. Right. It, it, um, it might not have been as great an experience for him as it was for you. Because if it was great, he'd have been knocking on that door. Because you guys have said time and time again, if a guy wants to be with you, he will be with you. Right. Unless he genuinely somehow just forgot to get her number and had no way of contacting her. Because I don't know how y'all didn't exchange numbers, but if it was just that kind of night it went that way, maybe he really didn't have a way of reaching out. Okay, I might be built a little bit differently. So help me out with this. If it's sensational, sensational one night stand. Firework. Fireworks. <laughs> Everywhere. You are certainly, as a guy, going to make sure you have that experience again. You oh, do yeah. not forget to get a phone number. You do not forget to get an Instagram name. You don't forget any of that. Forget a phone number. I'm not leaving the house. I'm right. in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> <Making breakfast now>. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, this is the man that went to a Halloween party dressed up like a one-night stand. I guarantee you she is one of like a hundred girls that he has had a one-night stand with in the last year. So it could have been amazing. It could have been incredible. Mm. But it might not have stood out because he does this every weekend. Yeah, he went as an F boy. <laughs> and it worked. <laughs> right. He manifested it. He, he did. did. Not, <laughs> not, not necessarily.
Oh. So I have one one night stand also in my repertoire. Thomas what? Owen. I went out. You dirty, dirty bull. <laughs> hey, yo. It was one of the best nights of my life. I went out with an entire sorority. And hooked up with this uh, sorority girl. So the numbers were in your favor. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I, but I, picked, I picked her out right off the bat. And this was during a time when Renee and I were broken up. And This is not the first time Renee's hearing this story. No, right? she okay. knows all about it. And, uh, and it, was, it was great. It was, it was awesome. But then when I got back, I had a message from Renee. And she wanted to get back together. So I ended up getting back together, but had that not happened, I definitely would have pursued that girl. But maybe there, were, what I'm trying to say is, maybe there was somebody else in the picture okay. for a minute. Maybe that person is gone now, and maybe this is Nicole's chance to swoop in. Okay, so the next morning, you get that message from Renee. Oh, I got back from New York. And it was on the phone as soon as I walked back in. Okay, so how long before you told Renee what you did? I told her immediately. You did? did you really? Wow. Oh, yeah. This is why these two have been married 27 yeah. years, man. Yeah, I told her. I mean, there was a little bit of regret, but, you know, we were on a break. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nicole. Um, Tommy, our show director there, Mr. One Night Stand, uh, reached out to your one night stand. We got answers for you. You just got to hang out for a couple of minutes, Okay. Okay. All right, we'll do it next. Yeah, there is a chance, and Abby brought this up, that if he does this regularly, like, he may not remember this one specific one, except for the date. Like, he might go back and go, oh, it was last Halloween, I remember her. But if he's doing it often, and he's got numbers, he may not even remember, right? Yeah, depending on her costume, it might not have been that memorable. Even if he is doing it often, though, I, I doubt he's doing it from a one night stand costume. Like, I'm, <laughs> right. I would hope that's only yeah, every member because it's Halloween. <laughs> right. right. Nicole, we forgot to ask you. He was dressed up as a one night stand. What were you dressed up as? The other night stand? Uh, not the most creative. I was. I was a nurse. <laughs> oh, a nurse. Okay. Nurse. Oh, okay. Well. All right. Hey, uh, Nicole, let me get Tommy on here with you right now. Tommy is our show director. You gave him um, the one night stands Insta. He reached out. We got answers. And I was able to get in touch with Leo via DM. I explained that someone he had spent some time with was interested in getting in touch with him and he wanted to hear more. And so I said, so this person that you spend time with is interested in possibly reconnecting. And Leo responded okay so why didn't they just call or text me and i said she didn't have your number and he said oh then we must not have been very close and i said that is debatable <laughs> <laughs> and he said what, what do you mean then why does she have my number and i said well you may have not known each other long enough to be emotionally close however you were physically close and then Leo said, okay, well, that doesn't narrow it down. Leo, you dog. Hey, yo. Yeah, yeah so but I'm, I'm, if I hear physically close, I don't think as in doing it. I'm, I am I would imagine, like, in my physical presence. Mm. Mm. Oh, we get the sense that Leo gets around. Yeah, I, I, I think we're going down the path labeled Abby's idea. Mm -hmm. um, and then I said, according to her, you were the only one night stand she has ever had. And Leo said, still doesn't help me who she is. So I think, yeah, he's... All right. All right. right, yeah. He's a pro. And I said, it is Leanne. His response, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. And I said, do you remember Leanne? And he said, help me out. And I said, you met at a Halloween party. And he's like, dude... You're going to have to be more specific. Which <laughs> Halloween party? <laughs> this year? Last year? Five years ago? <laughs> what did she look like? So evidently he makes a habit of this. Uh, and I said, to be honest, I don't know what she looks like, and I don't know which Halloween party. I didn't anticipate having to narrow it down for you further. <laughs> All I know is that it was last year, and you were dressed as a one-night stand. And he said, okay, I kind of think I know who you're talking about. And I said, great. So, would you be interested in meeting up with her for a drink or for dinner? 
And he said, sure, of, why not? Of course he is. <laughs> Are you kidding me? He's like, is this a trick question? <laughs> and, uh, so and you're I, saying she's a sure thing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why not? I said, great, can I ever text you? And he said, I thought she didn't have my number. And I said, she doesn't. I'm asking if you'll give it to me so I can pass it on to her. <laughs> and he said, sure, it's blah, 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 blah. I said, great, I'll pass it on. All, All right, right, Nicole, Nicole. <laughs> as your radio girlfriends... Do you really want to pursue this? No, don't do it. <sighs> I mean, I think it's worth, like, oh. drinks or dinner. This guy's oh, a boo. No, listen, wow. there's, there's nothing wrong with well, one-night stands. Yeah, you know what you're getting into, though. I mean, if you agree to this, you know what this is about, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, okay. you never know, but, yeah, probably. Oh, we know. If you're, <laughs> if you're looking just for a roll in the hay, then go for it. This but, dude sounds like a boosh. Yes, but... You know, but if he's good in that area, you know what? You can work your way around that. You're we'll just you wasting nice your time. I'm just saying, if you're looking... If you want a relationship, if that's where you are in your stage of life, this guy's not going to give it to you. He'll give you something else. Yeah. Okay. okay. Huh? Let us know an S T D. You should show up in the nurse's costume and definitely give him an, a herpes test. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, yeah, I should. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you know what you're getting into now. We'll give you the number if you want to hook up with this dude again. I would definitely have him tested beforehand, but wear hazmat suit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You better double up on that suit. Yeah, slut you. shame, Leo. Or you can you can just hit up hit him up on Instagram. He's at Leo STD. <laughs> the Burt Show.